Hey Leo, welcome back to the Alyssa Illuminator for your December monthly reading. So let's see what is going on. I do have a small announcement in regards to the channel. So I have noticed that the extra videos that I make, such as the divine and masculine, feminine and all that kind of extra videos are not being viewed by like 90% of my viewers. So I decided to cut them off. So I'm not going to be doing any of those videos. Instead, I am going to give those zodiac signs that are most viewed a bonus reading each month. Okay, so make sure that you like the videos, that you comment and that you keep the uh, engagement high so you can get an extra bonus reading from me. Okay, so let's see what else, what else we've got for you. Leo, what are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising? Okay, first card out is the strength card, is the Leo card. So you're getting over something. You're definitely getting over something. Oh, there is the five of swords that wanted to come out. So there could have been some type of a conflict that you are withdrawing yourself from. And you're you're taking from that conflict and from that backlash that you have received, you're taking a lot of courage and strength out of it to focus on other areas of your life. Some of you may have been recovering from a from an illness is what I'm picking up here as well. But you're getting a lot of confidence within yourself is what I'm getting here. And with the strength card, we got the loyalty card, which is the 10 of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, strength card, Leo and this loyalty card, both are kind of like Leo um, energy. So I feel like you're, you're trying to stay loyal to yourself. You're trying to be very grounded at this time and very much focus on your pentacles very much focus on your career or your family life um, i feel like you are definitely in a very prosperous place even though with the page of swords in the reverse i feel like you're you're turning your back towards people that have been uh, gossiping or towards people that are not being truthful or not speaking the truth from a very authentic place with this page of swords there might be someone that is definitely um, yeah, keeping tabs on you here with this page of swords being in the reverse, but they're not really speaking. So there might be some type of tension right there, but you're, you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your body most likely is what I'm picking up here. So maybe for some of you, you are going to the gym or you're doing something extra for your health as well. Like your body and your physical appearance may be very important right now as well. Wheel of fortune coming out for you. So Two major arcanas back to back. So this is definitely talking about some type of a karmic cycle that you may have ended. And now there are a lot of doors opening up for you, Leo. And I do feel like there is some type of a breakthrough. This breakthrough could have happened when Pluto and Jupiter started to um, trying together, which was, I believe, the 22nd of November, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken or the 12th of November, I don't know, one of those dates. And I feel like there are a lot of changes that are being made and most likely internal changes, but you can also feel those changes going on in your surrounding as for right now. I do see that you've been stressed out within your heart space. So maybe you're not sure if you're on the right path. You're not sure if you're going to get that lucky break. Uh, so there's a lot of worry and anxiety within your heart. So a heart chakra healing would be definitely very beneficial for you because maybe you're too much up in your head. You, you overthink things. You're, you're getting a lot of anxiety in regards to your future breakthroughs maybe maybe you're planning a little bit ahead and you're already worried and stressed about like will this work and is this going to happen will it be the right time will this and that x y and z be the right time for me and i feel like you should just go inwards with the higher priestess this is saying that you have all the inner wisdom within yourself so meditate a little bit um, try to meditate with a selenite because that could be connecting you with your spirit guys and also ground you and stop 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 making you overthink things like when you have like a um, um, selenite stat, like bowl for example like a, those round crystals they really enhance your meditation and really calm your mind so maybe that is definitely what you need to do look at her she's also having like this you know bowl right here within her heart chakra throat chakra as well so yeah listening to your intuition definitely in regards to this what's this 
okay <laughs> definitely in regards to um, to those voices because these could also be like your own voice of negativity right like when we downgrade ourselves or we say like oh we can't do it and we can't do it and we don't really open up for new information or we don't really open up to gain another perspective of how to tackle a challenge what else for leo please eight of cups so there are things or people or situations that you are going to walk away from you may have felt like you were very codependent in the past towards these situations or even these people but i feel like the universe is going to put you on a different path so you you are going to realize like okay these people do not really vibe with me these people do not really um you know I don't need those people or these are people that always need me but when I'm in need they are not there for me so when you feel that type of energy I feel like you are going to make a very firm decision based on your intuition like okay no this is not going to work for me or these type of people are not going to work for me and I feel like you're going to leave a situation behind here Ooh, okay yeah the turnaround so this is Pisces energy we got a lot of Pisces energy here we got um, Sagittarius energy and Leo and I got the Libra card here as well just as so yeah everything is in a divine order so I feel like a lot of new things are going to happen in your life I don't see a lot of love type of messages coming out so the only cups that I have here is the eight of cups so that is definitely talking about walking away in order to start a new adventure for yourself so with this ace of wands there might be a new opportunity that comes in um, I mean it could be that someone is waiting for a second chance but there is still a lot of time for that to happen because things need to still get in the divine order for that so there could be a lot of delays that are going on or there is some type of a sacrifice that is needed in order to get to this um, turnaround of events so i do feel like a lot of things are pretty much up in the air for you and maybe that's why you're a little bit stressed out because I, I i do see a lot of things being up in the air like needing to trust the divine needing to trust that your time will come your time to speak or your time to go your time to create an opportunity your time to turn the situation in your life around for the better and things are still in progress with this divine order here so there will be balance there will be justice but there is also a lot of waiting game to that yeah seven of pentacles with the ten of pentacles so yeah seven of pentacles is definitely talking about needing to take stock for a minute and really um, you know contemplate about how far you have come and what you want to achieve still with the ten of pentacles um, the only thing missing here from the seven to the ten is the three of pentacles which could indicate that maybe you need some type of um, some type of work together or you need some more people on board in order to get to your goal all right so there could be some type of collaboration that is needed with this three of pentacles that is missing here one more and the knight of wands yeah so i feel like you still need to wait a little bit before you can make your grand gesture or your grand big happening like a move or something like that uh, because we do have the knight of wands here so there will be quick energy quick moving forward but before that you still need to invest or go within and ask yourself if it is worth it and i feel for a majority of you it is worth it so if you're waiting for some type of an outcome I think is going to be worth it that's what i'm picking up it's just still divine timing again we got the knight of wands here so there could be some type of adventure that you are waiting for to take on but it's it, it, it's still in the progress here is what i'm picking up we've got the wheel so that could be indicating that we all have a free will and that if you are dealing with someone and you've been in that waiting mood you need to understand that there is a free will from both ends like your free will to wait on a situation or their free will to um, to meet you halfway here i do feel like with this there could be some type of compromise that is needed and this person is not showing you truly how they feel about a situation 
belonging. So some of you are waiting for some type of a house that like maybe you're waiting for a new home or you're, you know, you want to buy a new place, but you're not really there yet. That's what I'm getting here. What else we got for Leo? Before we move on to the He Says, She Says spread, it will be available on my website, thealistilluminator.com. You can find the link in the description box below this video, and we will see what is going on further on in your relationship department. The universe. So there's going to be some major, major completion here. Definitely a major completion with the universe. And I do feel like with the universe coming out, it is all with divine timing and this is the number 21 which is the Saturn card and Saturn is going to conjunct together with Pluto and with Jupiter so the 21st of December is going to be quite big until then I would just be very much focused on um, healing yourself and not giving too much energy out of you know to people that have hurt you it's getting very dark because it's it's kind of like raining outside so I hope you don't mind the cozy coziness here uh, so yeah, there's still a lot of healing that needs to be done because you've been giving out a lot of energy of your solar plexus chakra and you may have been, you know, losing a lot of hope. You've, you've been losing a lot of energy and a lot of positivity within this heartbreak and stress that you have been going through and it may definitely have to do with some type of a karmic injustice that has taken place, but it is going to come to an end. 333 three, three will be very important for you. So if you see those numbers, please make sure that you understand what the divine is trying to communicate with you by going inwards and just zoom in to your higher self, okay? Base chakra. So there's a lot of worry and fear in regards to your belongings, in regards to your home or in regards to something that you own that may have been taken away from you by, um, it could be a legal matter as well. So. That's what I'm seeing here. We got the heart chakra. So like I said, there's a lot of heart chakra healing that needs to be done in your case here. To reduce this anxiety, right? Your commitment is being tested. Exactly. Like you still need to wait. And that is asking you to be very committed to something that you don't know how it's going to pan out. And this is definitely saying that your commitment is being tested by the divine. So use it in your advantage. Just take it a step back and follow your intuition. So that was my reading for you, Leo. I hope to see you next time. And if you want to know the uh, He Says, She Says spread, it will be available on my website. So I see you there. Bye.